Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Warren Kananiga, and you're watching the FYI sessions where Filipino learners can save our bite-sized English lessons with me, Teacher Warren, and my best friends, the Miriam Webster Dictionary and Prentice Hall Grammar and Composition book by Gary Perlini and co-authors. Today, we will talk about loan words. Yes, loan words. Loan word is a compound noun which is categorized as a solid or combined compound noun because the words loan and word are connected and there's no space in between when you write them. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you talk of the word loan? Okay, <laughs> you will immediately think of money or bank. But yes, it still makes sense because when you loan, you borrow money, and loan means to borrow something. So loan words are borrowed words. They are official English words because they already made it to the English lexicon, but their origin is a foreign language, or their origins are foreign languages. And I'm so excited to show you a few examples of my favorite loan words in this episode. Okay. Denoma. Denoma. This is, um, the origin is French. Denoma. It's an element of a story's plot which is characterized by the final outcome of the most complicated situation in the story. Denoma. Denoma. Okay, next is coiffer. Coiffer is a male hairstylist. Origin is also French. Now, if you would notice, the letters after the first letter C is O and I. Um, in most English words, if the orthography has O I, the transcription will also show this diphthong. Oi, oi, oi is a phoneme which is classified as a diphthong. A diphthong is a vowel sound because, in the first place, it is a combination of two vowel sounds. Again, a diphthong is a phoneme which is characterized by the combination of two vowel sounds. With the vowel sound of a, a, which is represented by a lowercase letter o, with a single dot diuresis or, or a single period, followed by the vowel sound i, i, i which is represented by the lowercase letter i in the alphabet. You pronounce it oi, oi, as in oil, foil, soil. Okay. But that nature, but that nature will change if, for example, the English word has a French origin because the oi is sounded as wa. Wa, hence the pronunciation coiffer, because the letter C in the transcription is represented by lowercase letter K, which is pronounced as coiffer, coiffer. Okay, soiree, the same thing, French origin. See, the O I is pronounced as wa, and since there's so soiree, soiree, it's it's an evening reception party. Next, we have repertoire. Repertoire. It's a list or roster. Okay. Again, it has French origin because of the OI pronounced as wa. Repertoire. Repertoire. Next, another one with French origin. Reservoir. Reservoir. Now, the letter R here is silent. The middle R is silent. Is silent. And the letter S here, the third letter, it's pronounced as Z. So, reservoir. Reservoir. Okay. Next is haiku. This one is a Japanese, uh, Japanese, sorry, Japanese origin. Haiku. It's a short poem. I actually m made an episode for my Warren's Faves and Waves episode 2. You can check. I, I spoke about and I introduce their uh, my favorite haiku compositions 
Okay, next is Bon voyage. Bon voyage means happy trip or enjoy your trip. It also has a, a French origin. Vis a vis. Vis a vis. Vis a vis. French origin. Madame, madam. Madame, madam. This one. This one is already Americanized, like the Americanized orthography or spelling and somehow Americanized pronunciation, but it's based from this original one with a French origin. Madame, madame with the letter E, madame. If there's no E, uh, madame. Madame, madame. Okay, okay so next we have madame. Madame. So this is the plural form of madame or madame. Next is dim sum. This one has Chinese origin. Dim sum means Chinese cuisine. And dim sum is one of our favorite cuisines in the Philippines. Let's admit it. The next is lingua franca. Lingua franca. Lingua franca. It means uh, the common language used by people with different first languages to understand each other. And this one is um, has a Latin origin. Then we have Geisha. Geisha. Geisha has a Japanese origin. Geisha is a woman who is trained to perform all kinds of performing arts and artistic skills to entertain uh, men. Geisha. Geisha. I'm sorry. After the Geisha is croissant. Cro croissant. Croissant or croissant. So, uh, in an English-speaking country like America, the more popular pronunciation is croissant, okay? But um, as some native speakers of English also uh, adapted the pronunciation, the original French pronunciation, which is croissant, croissant, croissant. It's a kind of bread. You can Google this. It's a, it's a flaky kind of um, French bread. It's actually, it's actually delicious. <laughs> so difficult. Okay, next is also has a French origin. It's eau de toilette. Eau de toilette. Uh, toilet means toilet because um, before, I mean, the first generation of perfumes were actually um, made to make our bathrooms or um, toilet uh, smell good. But then they realized humans can use it too. So that's eau de toilette. Lasagna, that's uh, Italian. Lasagna is an Italian origin. Okay. It's a, it's a pasta dish, still considered a pasta dish. Again, you can just Google if you need more information. Okay, next, loco has a Spanish origin. It means crazy. Amigo has a Spanish origin, uh, which means friend. Amigo. Amigo. Although in, um, for our, uh, the, the, our brothers and sisters from the uh, Visayan regions, we say amigo, amigo. But in the um, dictionary, the transcription shows that it should be pronounced amigo, amigo. Okay, next we have Coliseum. Coliseum. This one has a Latin origin. A Coliseum is a, a structure, it's like a hall, which is open and circular in structure. Okay, next, Caduceus. Caduceus, this one also has a Latin origin. Uh, and Caduceus is already uh, an icon or a symbol of medicine. It's the winged staff with two intertwining snakes. Yes, two Chinese snakes. And then kimchi has a Korean origin. It's a, like an appetizer. 
Next is Jeepney. Jeepney has a Filipino origin and it's a very popular public transportation means in the Philippines. Ganache. Ganache is a chocolate icing or ch chocolate frosting. Ganache and it has a French origin. Next, Sensei uh, means teacher and it has a Japanese origin. Sensei. Next is Bolo. Bolo, Spanish origin. And it's a kind of gardening tool used to uh, cultivate soil. And then Bodega. Bodega has a Spanish origin. And in my country, the Philippines, specifically Cebu, or in uh, areas speaking the Cebuano Visayan language, we pronounce it bodega. The spelling, the English spelling is definitely the same with the Cebuano Visayan spelling.